Welcome back, you beautiful slackers, to another video brought to you by the Slack and Armchair supporters. My name is Ashley, and I'm going to be going through a match preview with you for the big one. It's Chelsea versus Liverpool. It's the Carabao Cup final. It's already here. It's happening this weekend, Sunday, the 25th of February. Kickoff is three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to be live. I'm also going to be not here in the usual place. I'm going to be somewhere else with some other people, hopefully, as well. I'm going to see. I'm not sure exactly who's coming. I've invited a few people just to do something different as it's a final and a special occasion for a Liverpool supporter anyway. So hopefully, yes, it's going to be a very interesting stream. I hope you guys are really going to enjoy it. I hope to see you all in there. But before we do that, it's time to preview the match. It's time to go through what I think is going to happen, who I think is going to be playing, and ultimately who's going to win the trophy and what the score is going to be. Just before I do that, Please hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Also subscribe to the channel, that really helps me out and I'm really loving the numbers so far. It's only early, but we are climbing at a nice rate and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy you guys getting in the chat, in the comments and having a conversation with me. I really do appreciate that. So thanks for that. So let's get into the business, shall we? <clears throat> so firstly, I think it's going to be a very difficult match. Um, well. I'm 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 quietly confident. Like I I know we're better than Chelsea. Not that not necessarily that we have better players or anything. I just think we're more organised. We're we're a better drilled team than Chelsea. Chelsea are very new, new manager, a lot of new faces, a lot of money spent, but not exactly clicking all the time. I mean, they're they're definitely since we played them last. Obviously, we beat them four one. Since we played them last, they've improved an awful lot. And Liverpool, we, well, we had a little bit of a blip, didn't we, against Arsenal. Um, also, the Burnley performance I didn't think was great after the Arsenal performance, but we still got the result because we weren't playing a top team, I think. So, I, I do think we are better um, for that reason. The fact that we've got... I mean, I know it's a new midfield for us as well. A bit of money spent in the summer. Well, quite a lot of money spent in the summer for new midfielders. They seem to have gelled better than Chelsea's midfield or whoever Chelsea bought. So I think that is where we have the edge, is the fact that we're just a better organised team. And also with Klopp at the top, anything is possible. Also with the fact that he's leaving, emotions are high, maybe it's a bit of encouragement for the team to go on and actually make this season extra special for Jürgen. So I actually think it's going to be a Liverpool win. and. I just, I, I'm, my, I, I'll show you my score prediction. I'm confident, but at the same time, it could it could be 1-1, one, one, could be a 1-0, could go to penalties. We've seen it before. There was two finals two years ago, Liverpool versus Chelsea, zero goals scored in them. They were decided on penalties. That could happen again. But with my score prediction, I'm going to show you. and I, you'll, you'll see. You'll see where I'm going. <clears throat> so, without further ado, I'll show you my score prediction. There we go. 3 1. It's a Liverpool score. I really. I didn't want to do 1 0. I didn't want to do a 1 1. Well, I'm, I'm never going to do a draw or a loss result anyway. So, um, yeah, 3 1. I, like I said, I'm a little bit confident. I think we're just better organised at Chelsea. Um, even with the injuries that we have, I think we can get this job done. Like I said, there's a bit of encouragement from Klopp leaving. Just everything. Wembley. Chelsea don't have a great record in final. I think they've lost their fast the last five finals. I think I read somewhere earlier today. Richie Pochettino has never won silverware in England with an English club, which is quite shocking considering the Spurs team he had. They were very good. Got to that Champions League final. Obviously came up against Liverpool. So, but yeah, three one is what I'm going to go with. Okay, um, again, could be a one nil. Could be a nil nil decided on penalties. But I want to be confident. I want to be happy. I want to see goals. And yeah, I want to. I actually, I want to see Connor Bradley just absolutely dominate this game and really like show everybody that what we see that he is actually incredible. I actually think this is going to be Connor Bradley's game. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm expecting an assist, an assist, maybe two at least. You know, really step up and let, let people know. <clears throat> so. Now let's go on to 
my lineup. Um, so firstly, I'll go through the news, um, who's going to be injured, who's not going to be there. Um, so firstly, Allison is out with a muscle injury. Um, he could be out for a while, but we do have quite possibly the best backup keeper there is um, in Queen Kelleher. Um, Kelleher would have started this match anyway, so it doesn't make any difference with Allison. Um, obviously, Allison would have been on the bench, but not Kelleher's going to start. Adrian's going to be on the bench. Um, also, Trent is a definite no. Um, that um, injury that he sustained. Um, I think a muscle injury. He's he's definitely out. He's going to be out for a while. Um, the only three really that are close to coming back, um, I, according to Klopp and Pep, Linda's also done a press conference. I think that was earlier today, actually. Um, is Dominic, Subaslai, Mohamed Salah, and Darwin Nunez. All doubts. They're, they're all in... I don't want to say doubts. They're all in contention to be in the game. But apparently there's, there's a couple of more sessions to go and they've got to be assessed. Basically, they don't want to say it, but they're, they're, if there's anybody going to start, I don't think they want to rush them back, I think is what they're trying to say. Um, I You'll see in my lineup as well what I've gone with. I, I think if anybody's going to be back, there's going to be one player back. Um, and I don't think that um, if they're all back, I don't think they'll all start. So... And also, but that'll be nice anyway to have that sort of um, strength on the bench just in case the game isn't going your way in the first half or after 60 minutes. We've got power, strength and decent players to come on off the bench. I think that's that's just as important as well. So if the likes of Saboslai or Nunez are on the bench and they can come on, especially Nunez. I mean, 30 minutes ago, you bring Nunez on and Chelsea defenders are starting to slow up. He'll, he'll rip him a new one. He'll tear him up, um, especially with his pace and his just absolute chaos. So let me get into my lineup then. So that is basically the news. Um, yeah, of who is... The rest are definitely not playing. They're definitely out. The likes of Thiago, Jones, Jota, um, Bajetic, Matip, all the, all the long-term ones, they're obviously still out. Jones, Jota, definitely a, a no as well. Um, Jota's out for two months. Jones is also for a while. So, based on that, this is what my lineup is going to be. <clears throat> so, there we go. It's Kelleher in goal, of course. Um, has to be Kelleher in goal. It was always going to be Kelleher in goal. Um, Andy Robertson at left back. Um, I'm, I'm really liking. I was going to mention this in the stream um, the other night after the Luton game. Really like an Andy Robertson how he's he hasn't been rushed back. He's actually been like slowly ushered back and played bits and pieces. He started the other night, but that was like not like a that was like his first like full game since he's come back from his injury. He's he's done. He's played bits and pieces. He's come on as a sub that we've used Gomez at left back, and he played his first full game against Luton and he looked incredible. And he's slowly been brought back and he's back to his like full fitness and looks like the player that we know he is. And that's happened really quietly. So I'm really liking the fact that Andy Roberts is back, basically, and the fact that he's looking the class defender that he is. Um, then, of course, Van Dijk and Kanate. Kanate was rested. It has to be them two. Van Dijk, an absolute Rolls Royce of a defender, isn't he? Um, that goal as well. I asked for it. Got it. Delighted. Um, Connor Bradley at right back like I said I think this is the game he steps up this is going to be his game um, he's really going to push Trent here in this game I think um, it might be good it might be good Trent might transition into midfield more permanently if Bradley can nail down this position then of course Endo in the hold and roll what a what a player he is like I keep saying not the player we wanted but the player we needed and absolutely delighted to have him in a Liverpool shirt. He'd die on the pitch for us, and that's all you can ask for. McAllister, Gravenberg then finish off the midfield. Um, again, could be Elliot instead of Gravenberg. I just think Elliot might be nice to have coming off the bench. A bit of trickery, a bit of guile, especially on the right-hand side. Um, then my front line, obviously Luis Diaz on the left. Got his goal after 
huffing and puffing against Lewin. Finally, thought it weren't going to happen for him. I was cursing them all out of it. But finally got his goal and he was absolutely delighted with it. And, well, I was delighted with him too. <clears throat> then I've gone with Gakpo through the middle. Um, because, again, not sure on Nunez. Um, also by Sly. And I've gone with Salah on the right. Because I think of the three, if they are there or thereabouts, I think Salah will be like, no, put me in. I don't care. Put me in. Also, he's the only one who would start um, if he's just coming back. I just, I th yeah, I, d I just don't think, I don't think you'd bother rushing Nunez or Stabosla when you can bring Salah in. And Salah would be like, no, put me in there. So that's why I've gone with him. If not, it's going to be Elliot there. Um, I put Salah there on the hope that he'd be there. But if not, it's going to be Elliot. Um, so that's my lineup. Um, so just to go through that in full, it's Kelleher, Andy Robertson and Bradley, the fullbacks, Van Dyke, Canate, the centre backs. It's Endo, McAllister, and Gravenberg in midfield. Then up top, we've got Luis Diaz, Gakpo through the middle, and Salah on the right. That's how I think it's going to line up. That's my match preview, you guys. And, well, until Sunday. Um, yeah, it's a big game. Really looking forward to it. I'm going to enjoy the stream. Going to enjoy a few drinks with the stream and friends and family around me. And yeah, hope it's a win. Hope it's a bit of silverware. Really looking forward to it. I'm like, I won't on the day. I'll be a bit nervous, a bit anxious. But right now, I'm just looking forward to it. Can't wait for Sunday to come around. That's going to be a three o'clock kickoff. I'm going to be a little bit earlier than that going live, of course, to, you know, with the build up and everything. Like I normally do, I'm a little bit early. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in there. Like I said, if you haven't already, please leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it when you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you on Sunday. Until then, up the fucking reds.